Think one person can't change the world? Now is a good time to tell the story of how one man changed the entire world with the help of Michigan's own multinational corporation, General Motors. Thomas Midgley was an engineer for GM who was tasked with solving the problem of engine knock in cars starting in 1916. After years of experiments, Midgley found that a compound called tetraethyl lead, or TEL, eliminated engine knock when added to gasoline. Immediately afterward, TEL was produced on a mass scale by a joint venture between GM and DuPont. But there was a problem. Workers at the plant making TEL had the problem of getting horribly ill, hallucinating, and even dying terrible deaths in industrial accidents. They were suffering from acute cases of lead poisoning. When the press got word of this, Midgley decided to head off any sensational stories by holding a press conference where he took a large beaker of TEL, washed his hands with it, and then rubbed it all over his face. He then took questions from reporters and seemed fine, and just like that, there was no major news story. The problem is, is that Midgley disappeared for an entire year as he was moved to a rehabilitation facility to learn how to walk and talk again. He gave himself one of the worst cases of lead poisoning of all time, but still survived. Many of the GM and DuPont plant workers were not as lucky. TEL was used in gasoline for several decades. As a result, lead was introduced to the atmosphere at an exponentially higher rate than would naturally occur. To this date, it is estimated that the world's atmospheric lead rates are more than 600 times higher than they should be. This is a major concern because lead is both nearly permanent and is linked to higher rates of cancer, birth defects, and a number of other adverse health effects. No worries for GM, though. They spun off the TEL division as the Ethel Corporation and sold off all ownership of the company in the 1960s, just before reports of its harmful effects started spreading. We eventually banned leaded gases in the U.S. in 1996. Believe it or not, Midgley was just getting started. He later helped invent chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, a compound that doesn't exist anywhere else in the universe. CFCs are great at stabilizing cold temperatures, but they're even better at destroying ozone. One pound of CFCs destroys 70,000 pounds of ozone, which spelled bad news for the ozone layer. The hole in the ozone layer that is sitting over Antarctica as we speak is thanks largely to Midgley's efforts, and he couldn't have done it without getting his start at GM.